Since 2014, allies have increased defense spending and we are moving in the right direction. But we're not moving as fast as the dangerous world we live in demands. So while I welcome all the progress that has been made, it is obvious that we need to do more and we need to do it faster. At our summit in Vilnius in July, I expect allies to agree a more ambitious new defense investment pledge with 2% of GDP as a minimum to be invested in our defense. In this new and more contested world, we cannot take our security for granted. It is our security that underpins our prosperity and our way of life. And it shows that uh, seven allies now spend uh, 2%. Uh, uh, we actually expected that to be slightly more uh, earlier. Uh, but because GDP has increased more than expected for a couple of allies, uh, two allies that we expected to be at 2% are now slightly below 2%. So the first, uh, we haven't seen any proof that uh, China is uh, delivering lethal uh, weapons to Russia. Uh, but we have uh, seen uh, some signs that uh, this has been a request uh, from Russia and that this is an issue that uh, is, cons is, is uh, considered uh, 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 in Beijing or by the Chinese authorities. And therefore our message has been that China should not provide lethal aid to, uh, to, uh, to Russia. Um, um, then, uh, of course, the meeting um, that takes place in Moscow is part of a pattern we have seen uh, over the last years, where China and Russia are coming closer and closer. Uh, we have to remember that just uh, a couple of weeks, a few weeks before the invasion last February, President Xi and President Putin met in Beijing, uh, where they signed a joint declaration promising each other uh, a partnership without any limits. Um, and, uh, and we see how China and Russia are uh, coming closer and closer in the military domain. They have uh, joint exercises, joint patrols, naval and air patrols uh, in the economic domain and also in the political and diplomatic uh, domain. So the meeting in Moscow is part of that pattern where China and Russia are working more and more uh, closely and building a stronger and stronger uh, partnership.